was witness to children with chronic kidney disease who needed dialysis and saw the struggle that they had with fatigue and their inability to play as normal children because of the exhaustion that they had from the kidney disease. So one of the people that that involved was one of our, my own patients who was six, who received a live donation from his dad. And he recovered instantly and was able to then run and play. And we rarely saw him in the office anymore because his life was totally transformed. And then I happened to go to a kidney function where I began to learn about the altruistic donation. It was very impressive to think that I could donate to a stranger and not only doing that, but to set off a chain reaction where I could donate to somebody who was a genetic match to me where my kidney would work for them. And then their friend could donate to another stranger and it passes down the line. I was sitting on the beach realizing that I should donate a kidney sooner than later when I got the news that my daughter was pregnant with her first grandchild. And at that point, I realized I wanted to be available to her and to take care of this baby. So I really wanted to donate this kidney before his delivery. So to give up one kidney is very easy because your second kidney compensates very quickly and quickly goes up to 75% of function. And if I don't develop any massive kidney disease, which I don't expect to, my single kidney will function until I'm 110. There was a lot of testing that I had to go through. I think that's true for all donors that have to go through a lot of testing to be sure that they're physically well. I viewed it as a middle-aged tune-up. I never would have had any of this testing done, uh, except that I was a donor, but I had studies to look and see if I had cancers any place, any hidden things. And the final test was this very fancy stress test for my heart where I was very proud that they thought I was actually an, ath an athlete. So I was very thrilled to have that final result. It's amazing that by laparoscopy, they can take your left kidney, is what they took for me, with these small tools through your belly button, and then retrieve it and pull it forward, and then pull it out through the belly button. Uh, so I was probably in the operating room for maybe three hours. I was in the hospital then recovering for two days and then sent home and I was back to work in two weeks. Now I'm three years since I did it and um, very happy I did it. I forget that I did it until I see people in my neighborhood who say, well, how are you? And then I realize, oh, oh, that's right. They know I gave a kidney and they're asking that question. I think people need to realize that they can impact somebody's life very dramatically in this very small way and also to set off that chain that impacts not just one life but many. But I know for some donors, they're not nearly as comfortable in the hospital setting or with doctors as I was. And it is a big, big give for them. When you become aware of the impact it has on so many people, I think it's a small actual give for the individual person with huge, big, enormous implications. So if in fact you would like to speak to someone directly who's donated a kidney to get more information and see what the experience that they had, the National Kidney Foundation will put you in touch with someone like me who would be happy to support you and coach you through the process.